Okay, hello Cloud Gurus. AWS have released a major update to Cost Explorer. The winners of the AWS Chatbot Challenge have been announced. SES dedicated IP pools are now available. Serverless Inc. have announced Event Gateway, and it's your last chance to get early bird tickets for Serverless Conf New York. No, your eyes are not deceiving you. I'm Sam Krunenberg, filling in for Ryan, who's currently on vacation, and you're watching AWS This Week. So this week, AWS have released a major update to Cost Explorer, making it easier than ever to understand and manage your spend with AWS. The update optimizes many common workflows, including like filtering, date range selection, grouping of data, and report management. So for example, the powerful group feature allows you to group your EC2 spend by instance type, so you can see where you're spending the bulk of your money. So that might be on C3 8x larges versus, say, T2 micros. You can also group your spend by region, tag, billing entity, API operation, and many more options. You can also filter your Cost Explorer report by similar options. So combining the two, you could view a breakdown of you know, how, much spending, how much spending you're doing by instance type within USD1 only, for example. You can save these reports and now also manage them in the saved reports page. AWS have also shipped a bunch of great starter templates to help you in creating new and useful reports for your organization. A couple of months ago, Amazon announced a chatbot challenge in conjunction with Slack. They asked users to build a conversational chat box with natural language features using Amazon Lex and Lambda. Our dev team submitted a chatbot to the challenge, the new A-Cloud Guru Slack bot. With this bot, you can challenge your friends and coworkers and see who has the best knowledge of AWS. So you simply type, like A Cloud Guru, let's do a quiz into Slack, and the A Cloud Guru bot will give you a random quiz question on AWS. It's really fun. If you get it right, you get a point. The bot keeps track of the leaderboard within your organization, and you can post it to the channel at any time so you can show your friends how well you're doing. Click the link above to open our Slack bot. This week, the winners were announced, and there were some really amazing entries. So, congratulations to all the winners who are listed on the screen now. So first place went to Build Facts Counts, built by Joe Emerson, who actually spoke at our first serverless conf in New York City last year. It's awesome to see how far serverless has come along in just one year. So the Build Facts Counts bot is really impressive. So Build Facts have a national database of building permits, and the bot is designed to take the load off their technical sales support team by allowing their sales and marketing team to ask the system questions directly using natural language. So you can ask really detailed questions like, how many properties do we have with pool permits issued after the 1st of Jan 2001? And the bot will query the database and return the right answers to the team. So congratulations to all the winners from everyone here at A-Cloud Guru. Great work, guys. So this week, Amazon launched dedicated IP pools for SES. So SES, or Simple Email Service, is Amazon's highly scalable and fault-tolerant email delivery system. So for those of you who have worked with email systems, you know that deliverability is the name of the game. Like, you want to make sure that your deliverability is high, meaning that as many of your emails as possible reach your users without getting caught by spam filters along the way. Dedicated IP pools allow you to take more control of the deliverability of your emails. So when you start out with SES, all your emails are sent through a shared IP. This IP is responsible for sending mail on behalf of many AWS customers, and AWS try hard to keep the deliverability high on those shared IPs. But when you start sending like several hundred thousand emails per day, you really should look at getting a dedicated IP for SES. So by creating ded dedicated IPs, you're able to fully control the reputation of those IPs. It makes it easier to troubleshoot any deliverability or reputation issues. This week, AWS released dedicated IP pools to make it easy to manage your dedicated IPs. So now when you send email, you can specify a configuration set, which will route your email to an IP in a pool linked to that configuration set. So that's a really cool addition to AWS. So in open source news, this week, Serverless Inc. announced a new project called Event Gateway. And some of our team were actually there in San Francisco for the announcement, which was pretty cool. So Event Gateway allows you to build fully serverless event-driven systems that actually span multiple cloud providers. So you can now define a serverless API and a pub-sub system backed by serverless functions that can be triggered by any event on any cloud, including AWS, Azure, Google Cloud Platform, and IBM OpenWhisk. 
So it's going to be interesting to see how people will use the event gateway and some of the really innovative multi-cloud solutions that will be built with it. So congrats to the whole Serverless Inc. team on the launch. Awesome work, guys. And finally, a reminder that Serverless Conf, our conference on serverless technologies and architectures, is taking place in New York, October 8th to 11th. So there are only six days left to get your discounted early bird tickets. So make sure you get your ticket now. We've also begun announcing the first few speakers, and there's some amazing speakers coming. We're happy to tell you now that Randall Hunt and Chris Munns from AWS will be presenting at the conference. We're also excited to have speakers from Google, Microsoft, and other really fantastic and innovative companies. So go to nyc.serverlessconf.io to find out more, and we'd love to see you there. I'll be there, Ryan will be there, we'll all be there. So that's it for this week, Cloud Gurus. Keep being awesome, and we'll be back next week.